The Grand Tank project is finally drawing to a close after nearly 12 months of full-time work. What a journey it's been. This week, the boys stress test the engine and encounter a little bit of a problem. We fit out the internal fighting compartment and finally dovetail the turret and turret basket to the hull. Hi, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. On the weekend, Jesse spent hours painting the interior of the Grant tank. We've had some people write to us asking us why we chose white as the colour. White helps amplify what little light might be able to get into the vehicle and also helps the crew spot oil leaks. Everything is ready to be fitted, but before we commit to making the tank even more cramped than what it already is, the boys want to put the engine and transmission into a stress test. <laughs> from the manual transmission. Nearly every running vehicle in the museum, especially ones from World War II, have this problem. It shouldn't give us any serious issues as we service them regularly. unburnt fuel is making its way through the engine, which over time will foul everything up with carbon and cause serious problems down the track. Time to head back into the workshop and see what the issue is. Smoke!
Um, so let's take it out for a like low test now and we've got low power as we've seen. Yeah. Starting to struggle, that's a lot, it's a lot of fuel. Um, and then basically if you keep running it like that, you're just gonna soot the entire engine inside the engine up basically. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we don't want that. Alright, right. we'll yeah. have a look. Yeah. Ryan takes the air filter off and the muffler. Here we go. Oh, there we go there. Oh, there that was meant for it. Perfect. That was meant for it. We'll just leave the exhaust in there and leave it <laughs> yeah. like that. That's how that's how that's meant to be. They made that for that. That's how they oh, used yeah. to have it. Yeah. See All if right. this makes a difference. Yeah. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get to you soon. workshop. Well, she's smoking. Further investigation required. Yeah, she's very smoky. Very Still. smoky. It's time to start pulling things apart, but luckily, things are not as bad as what they could have been. There's rag in there. Is there? Hey, look. Oh, I wonder it won't run. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that happen? Who took the rag? Yeah. Yeah. Just... <laughs> How on earth did that happen? We were saying, I hope it is a rag, because we know that what the problem's going to be. That's good. That's, good. That's awesome, actually. How good is this going to run now? Yeah, it's going to go good. It was going <laughs> quite before. It was so. half, it was half. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> That's going straight to the pool room. That'll be good to... We'll sell that on the website. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. This rag was placed into the turbo intake in order to stop debris from entering while the boys were working on the engine bay. And we forgot to take it out before putting everything back together. Little hiccups like this are inevitable and we always try to make light of it. At least it wasn't anything serious. Listen to that turbo spool up. 
The suspension is performing beautifully as well. There is still some smoke, but that's a normal amount for this type of engine. Thank heavens for that. That really picks good. it up. Yeah, yeah. It, it just powered up, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Ryan and the boys are happy. Now it's time to start fitting out the interior. And that's, our... that's our mate Ron. He's supplied the engine and transmission for this project, as well as some other bits and pieces. He's been an invaluable source of knowledge on this build, since he's somewhat of a grant restoration expert. He dropped in for a visit and ended up giving us a hand for a few days too. Nappy change table, Darrell. That's it, the nappy change table. I'll pass it up and I'll get you to screw it down. You right? Yeah. You see the hole? Yeah. Shouldn't fall now. Now this drops into the top, I think. Oh, I got it. details to add in later but at this point we are ready for the turret basket and the turret. The boys first maneuver the vehicle into a position under the highest point of the ceiling so that the forklift can safely drop in the turret ring and basket.
focus. You can see here, it's had a bit of a hit. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. What are you talking about? That's beautiful. Easy. Don't worry. What I'll do is I'll just give that a big hit with the lump of wood. Try and you know, push him that way. We've got plenty of room there. Yep. So we'll just give him a nudge with a bit of wood there. Yeah. A slight adjustment with a sledgehammer. Yeah. Hard on something. Probably going to take a little bit. Well, it'll either wear or if he needs a shim on that side, it'll fix it perfectly. So it's a bit firmer than what we hoped for. So, but if we lift it up a bit, we're going to lift it up fine. and shim it a bit, and then then have have another look at it. But it should work. It's, 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 it dropped in nicely. There is one or two spots where I notice it's hitting the guard, but the guard can be pushed and, and pulled out back into spot into place. So, we'll we'll, re, we'll get into it tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll uh, yeah get stuck into it. Now the boys start bolting down the turret ring. Oh, I'll jump in and I'll do those other three. Like it. Well, that one actually, and no, it won't just be for the whole <sighs> Getting there? Yeah, young man's game, mate, I'm telling you. With the turret ring bolted down and secure, it's time for the turret itself to drop into position. It was an emotional moment as it always is whenever a project begins to draw to a close like this. The addition of the turret is a huge milestone and it won't be long until the Oz Armour Grant tank will be ready for the final fit out, painting and its first big test drive around our track. But that's all we have time for today. Join us next Wednesday for your weekly tank restoration fix. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and I'll see you on the next one.